Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing a haul of what I got for Christmas this year. Just before we start I want to say I'm not showing off and I'm very grateful for everything I've got. My family and friends are absolutely lovely and I'm very thankful for everything. I hope every single one of you had a lovely Christmas day. Unfortunately mine wasn't too great. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram you will know why already. I don't really want to talk about it so we'll skip over that. Here are the presents I got for Christmas this year. I'm not going to do these in any particular order, I'm just going to pick them up as I go. Before this video even gets started, I'm going to lower the tone by showing you my first present, which was given to me by one of my best friends called Mike. And some of you might know him, he's been in some of my videos, I will link him below, he's got a YouTube channel as well. And he thought it would be hilarious to get me some stress balls. This isn't just any stress ball, this is balls that look like testicles. So thanks Mike, thanks for that. If you like to see what they look like, they look like this. This is me holding a pair of rubber testicles. I never thought that would happen on this channel. Mike also got me a little Yankee Candle car freshener which was so sweet because I love Yankee Candles and I've just got a new car. But I'm already making good use of that in my car so unfortunately I can't show you that. Talking about Yankee Candles, I got loads. I put a lot of Yankee Candles on my wish list because I thought if anyone wants to get me one then it's less likely that two people will get me the same flavour. So the first one I got is this little one and this is Strawberry Buttercream and if you saw my Christmas haul last year you will know that I got this last year as well the exact same one, exact same size, and I've burned it all down, I've used it all from last year. So I've got a new one this year which is really cute. I'm someone who likes really sweet scents so you'll see a theme in this haul. Pretty much every year my nana and granddad will get me and mum tickets to something. I think last year we went to the Harry Potter studios which was amazing, I loved it. It was just, oh my god, if you like Harry Potter and you haven't been, go, because it's just... I cried. We cried about three times, it was so magical and amazing. And this year we've asked for tickets to see Les Mis in the West End because I've seen over 70 plays and productions, but I've never ever seen Les Mis, which is just wrong because it's one of the longest running musicals in history. But along with that they got me some little things to open on Christmas Day, and surprise surprise, they're Yankee candles. I got a few of the Tester kind of little candles, and I got two in Snow in Love, and two in Apple and Pine Needle. Along with that, Santa, aka my nana and granddad, got me some chocolates and they got me Gillian, which I've eaten. I got two boxes of these for Christmas, one in my stocking from mum and one from my nana and granddad, and I've eaten both boxes. I just love Gillian, they're the best. These are my favourite chocolates and I can't help myself, just have to eat them all. Keeping on the theme of Yankee Candles, I got four big ones and the first one I got is Christmas Cookie and this was from Kaylee. I'm sure all of you know her by now, I will link her in the description. This smells amazing, I was burning this yesterday and I had it on burn for probably about three hours because it was just so good. Then I also got another one in Strawberry Buttercream, this is the same as the little one but a bigger size. Mm mm, love this. The next one I got is in Summer Scoop which is a really really sweet berry scent. It's got a picture of berry ice cream on the front and it smells exactly like that. And the last Yankee candle I got this year is Snowflake Cookie which looks like this. This is another sweet one and it's sort of similar to the Christmas Cookie one because they're the cookie flavoured ones but they're just different variations of that and it just smells amazing. I'm just going to keep sniffing these forever. I got quite a lot of smelly things this year including perfumes and I got two perfumes this year, I was very very lucky. The first one is Lady Gaga Fame which I wore all throughout last year. I got two bottles of this last year, I got a 50ml and a 30ml and I used them all up. This one is the 100ml and this was from my lovely friend Jay which is very generous because I didn't expect 100ml. I thought if anyone was going to get me one they'd maybe get me the 50ml or something. But this is 100ml so this will probably last me about a year so thank you very much Jay. I'm very very grateful for that. The next perfume is one that I've wanted for a very long time. This was on my wish list last year and has remained on my wish list until this Christmas and it will probably stay on there to be honest. And it is Victor and Ralph Flower Balm which is very very expensive for what it is. I love the packaging, it's so pretty and the bottle is lovely as well. This is what the bottle looks like which is probably exactly what I would design if someone asked me to design a perfume bottle. It's so just ladylike and pretty and I'm actually holding it the wrong way around, well done. Along with the perfume my mum got me a juice cube and this is just so cute and clever. I love this. My phone is constantly running out of battery because I've got a Samsung. Samsung's iPhones, smartphones in general are just shocking for batteries. Please will someone sort that out so we don't have to buy these kind of things. I saw this on Fleur de Force's gift guide and I just went oh my god I want that. I need that. So it went straight onto my wish list 
and my mum got it for me which is very sweet. It's a tiny little cube which you charge your phone with. Along with it you get lots of adapters so you can use it with pretty much anything. You can use it with your iPod or pretty much every phone. I know the only phone you can't use it with at the moment is the iPhone 5 I believe is the new one that's got the new jack on it so unfortunately you can't but I'm sure there'll be somewhere online where you can buy one. Guess what? I got some more smelly things. Just to say, I did ask for all these smelly things. I don't think people think I just smell. At least I hope they don't. Anyway, I got quite a few Lush products this year, which I was really happy about because I've never tried Lush's bath products or anything. The only Lush products I've tried is the lip scrub and the face scrub and the shaving cream. I hated the shaving cream. I thought it was awful, but the other things were really good. And in my stocking from my mum, I got a bath balm and it is the Butterball. It looks like this, very simple, it smells lovely, very sweet, and I'm looking forward to using this. Oh my god, that just went in my mouth. Ugh. I don't recommend eating it, it does not taste nice. Also from Kaylee, I got the Rose Queen Bath Ballistic, which looks like this. It's got petals and things coming out of it, and it's bright pink, and I imagine this will make the bath look amazing. Then from Kaylee, I got another bath ballistic, and this is called So White, which is very apple and fresh smelling. This is massive look at the size of this this is like just well it's probably bigger than the size of my fist i don't know it's huge i've been refraining from using these products so that i could show you in this haul i've just wanted to chuck them all in the water and jump in um, but i haven't i've been a good youtuber although saying that one of the products i have used a little bit of and that said thing is a bubble bar and this came in a lovely packet like this along with the other one this is from my cousin josh and i just love his packaging well done josh that's so cute and inside we have this giant bubble bar I have used some of this, as you can see there's like a bit hacked out at the edge because I have used it. I believe this is called the Comforter, if you go on their website you will be able to see it. This smells amazing, it makes bubbles really well and the bath water goes pink, so winner. It smells, oh, it smells like raspberry, blueberry kind of sweets, like bubble gummy and oh it's amazing I love it. Also got me another bubble bar I believe this is a bubble bar I'm pretty sure it is and I think it's called Candy Mountain. Again if you go on their website you'll be able to find it. I also love the way it's made the way it's all swirly with little dots just cute I love it. When I put my juice cube on my wish list I didn't know if it would come with the correct adapter so I put one of these on in just in case and it's a micro USB sync cable. Luckily the juice cube does come with the adapter but this just means I've got this in case. I've got one item of clothing this year because I'm the kind of person who likes to seek out my own clothes and I've got quite a particular style and I'm weird with fits as well because I've got quite a big bum, small waist. It's just not easy to find clothes that fit me easily if you're buying for me. But me and mum were out Christmas shopping and she wanted to get me a few more bits and I saw this I tried it on and it's in an extra small which is weird because I'm definitely not an extra small person but they didn't have any smalls they only had larges and the larges were way too big so we went for this one and my mum said it looked really nice anyway it's this cute little striped top with half sleeves and it's very slim fitting stretchy and this will look lovely I think with pinafores I think this will look lovely with most things and I've wanted a stripy top for ages but I just haven't brought myself to buy one for some reason. My family are quite big on DVDs so at Christmas there are a lot of square shaped gifts and I personally don't really like films, I find it quite an effort to sit down and watch a whole film. So I only ever get films if they're specifically helpful or if I specifically ask for them. And my mum got me three. The first one she got me is Spring Breakers. I watched this with Jay, Kaylee and mum and it's so weird. You look at the cover and you think it's going to be a fun party film and it's really not like that. I knew it wasn't going to be like that because I've heard reviews and people said it's quite different to what you expect it to be. If you're into film or photography watch this just for something to look at because you'll see all the colours and the different angles and everything they've done with it. It's quite creative and I liked it for that sense. However, I thought some of it went on too long and it didn't really work for a long length film. I found it was a bit too much to watch. If you don't really want to see drugs, sex, naked people and murdering, don't watch this film. Then my mum got me two more and these are both musicals. She got me Once, which I've heard mixed reviews about. Some people say it's amazing, other people say it's a bit crap and not what they expected it to be. And then I also got Hello Dolly, which has the lovely Barbara Streisand in it. I love Barbara Streisand, she's amazing. Her voice is incredible, she's just, she's amazing, I love her. From my auntie and uncle, I got this, which is a curling kit, which are hot curlers. So you put them on to heat up and then you put them in your hair and then you keep them in for a bit and then you've got lovely bouncy hair. And the reason I wanted these is because they had them on set when I was doing an extras job. I was working on Endeavour, 
I believe it was, it might have been a poet in New York. It was something set in sort of the 50s and they had these on set and this is what they curled my hair with and it looked amazing and it came out and I was just like, my hair never looks like that. How have you done that? So I thought I'd put them on my wish list so that I could get the same kind of look. If you guys would like a video on this, let me know and I will do that for you. The last few things are all makeup y things. In my stocking from Mum, I got the Eco Tools Limited Edition The Beautiful Expressions Kabuki set, which is a brush set from Eco Tools. I've never had anything from Eco Tools before, but I've heard really positive things about them, so I wanted to try them out. And this is a good mixture of brushes. My mum got me this for travelling because if I ever stay at someone's house, I tend to take like most of my makeup with me and I end up having a bag of makeup and just too many brushes and it takes up too much space. So my mum got me these so I don't have to take a massive load of brushes with me, I can just take these and it takes up a lot less room and a lot less weight. Also from my auntie and uncle I got a Real Techniques brush which is the setting brush which I've wanted for ages as well. They've got me a couple of brushes in the past because I just love them, they're very expensive so they're not something I want to spend my money on but I think they make quite good gifts. I've been using this already with my highlighter and the highlighter I got was from my mum and it's the Glow All Out by Soap and Glory and although I love the vintage kind of style I kind of hate Soap and Glory's packaging because it's just, I mean that's okay but when you look at the product itself it's actually cardboard so you open it up and it's magnetic that kind of annoys me I don't feel like it's shut properly but the product is amazing so I don't really care about packaging that much when the product's so good also from mum in my stocking I got one of the Rimmel London Kate Moss lipsticks and this is because I've heard so much hype about this colour this is in the shade 01 and it looks like this it's just a true lovely red and I've tried this on already it looks lovely I love it it's great the last couple of things are from MAC and these were from my Uncle Gary and the first thing is amazing, I love it so much. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to MAC lipsticks but I try not to spend money on them because they are very expensive. This is one of their semi matte lipsticks and it's in the colour Unknown Pleasures and I'm wearing it now. I didn't even know they did these because they are limited edition so if you want this shade then go and grab it now because it will probably be discontinued soon. And finally, the last thing I got is also from my Uncle Gary and also from MAC. It's this strange sphere. I didn't know what it was at first and then I saw the MAC label and got excited. He got me the Dazzle Sphere Smoky Berry Ornament Pigments and these are four pigments which is crazy because MAC pigments are very expensive and they're also amazing. I've had my finger in these already and I've already swatched them and had a bit of a play and I've already worn some of them and the colour payoff is incredible. You literally need the tiniest bit and it goes just everywhere. The colours I got are Spicy Smoke, which I believe is this top one, Roasted Chestnut, and Pearl, which is this top one, I believe, and Rose Light. And finally, I've got to the end. I think that must have been a really, really long video, so hopefully you've managed to make it all the way to the end. Thank you to everyone who bought me a Christmas present, or wished me Happy Christmas, or sent me a Christmas card, and thank you to all you guys for wishing me Merry Christmas as well. I love you all, and I hope you all had an amazing Christmas period. All my social networks are listed in the description below if you want to go check those out. Remember to subscribe and comment and all that fun stuff, and I shall see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys. Bye! is rolling in his grave right now. Uh, speechless, there's so much, just so much glitter and things to put on your face. Oh my god. Mm, oh, so good. I swear I get something in my eye in every single video. Okay, we're recording. Which I believe I'm holding the wrong way round. Giant bath bubble thing. Was it? A bubble bar. A bubble bar. Put this on and I just sniff myself all throughout the day. I just go like this. That smells so good. What do we get to? <laughs> my my button has come undone. How did that even happen? If I film this whole video with a boob showing, I'm not gonna be.